do you need to uproot what you're rooted in? Did you hear me? You will only produce outwardly what resides within you inwardly. Let's connect in conversation on the topic of part two, check your roots, how to be faithful and fruitful. Oh, you know, I'm mic'd up. Join me and let's mix it up. Good people, how you doing? How you living? How's it going? What's happening? I hope you are doing well. I hope you're having a great day in a great way because it's only going to get greater. It's only going to get bigger, better, brighter. Of course, we welcome you. I welcome you to another edition of In the Mix. I'm yours truly, your host with the most, Dr. Eddie Connor, and it is an honor that you have joined us today. Hit the thumbs up button on this video. Come on, family, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button as well. I need you to make sure that you do that. Share if you care. Come on, your timeline could be someone's lifeline. You're here because you care. So I do need you to share this information and share this session, this podcast with somebody today. Let's have a conversation of Illumination family. But in order to do that, we got to pay the light bill. Come on, drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. Drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. You know, we too lit to quit. We're going to stay lit. We're going to turn the lights all the way up. Let's brighten it up in here. Yeah, that's it. Keep a 100 watt conversation. Zero to 100 real quick. Why? Because we are the light of the world. On our channel for change, our channel that creates change, our channel that breaks chains. We are spotlighting and highlighting part two of our topic. Check your roots. How to be faithful and fruitful. You know, one of the things when you think about what you're rooted in, you can't help but to think about what you need to also uproot. Because maybe here's the thing, maybe we're not growing the way that we should grow, or we're not doing what it is that we desire to do, simply because we're not rooted in the right soil. One, we're not rooted in the right environment. Secondly, we need to uproot certain things that are choking our growth, that are keeping us stymied and stagnant and stifled and stuck like Chuck in a pickup truck, right? We have to do some personal inductive study and inventory if we're really going to make growth a priority. We have to do inventory if growth is going to become a priority in our life. And, and here's the thing. We can't always blame outside forces and outside circumstances simply because we now shift the blame onto what it is that we need to do. Because, because here's the thing. To a certain degree, many of us are in our own way. Many of us are in our own way. Are in our own way. What am I doing to grow? How am I, as scripture says, being a tree planted by the rivers of living water that bringeth forth fruit in its season? Notice this. When you think about a tree, here's what a tree is doing. A tree is growing in two directions at the same time. It is going and growing gravitropically, downward, gravitropic, gravitational pull, that which is bringing it towards the earth. And it is also growing phototropically. Phototropically means above the ground. We love 
the prefix of phototropic, which is photo. We love that. We love the photos. We love the selfies. We love the ussies. We love what everybody else can see. Right? Because here's the thing. If we have come into this particular place that if you can't see it, you really didn't have it. If you can't see it, it really didn't happen. Yeah, that's why that's why you're taking a, a selfie here and there, whatever the case may be. That's why you're taking a, a photo in these particular places, because that's your landmark. That's your phototropic landmark to say, I was here. I did this on this particular day. I experienced that. I was at this concert. I was on this date. I had this food. I was on this. I, I had this at dinner. I went to this particular restaurant. Come on. I bought this dress or you bought that particular suit. You love the phototropic. But I need you to hear me. There is no phototropic without that which is gravitropic. Why do I mean? What do I mean by that? Because the gravitropic is what you can't see. That is how you develop in the dark. Hmm? It is where you become. It is what you do and eventually what you have. Are you willing to develop in the dark when nobody can applaud you? Come on, family. Type check your roots. Come on, family. Type develop. Are you willing to develop in the dark when nobody else can see you? When nobody else can applaud you and quote unquote appreciate you and do all of these specific things for you can you grow in the dark come on family type develop in the dark developing in the dark need you to hear me is is the level of your character it is not just your gifts of the spirit right but here it is it's the fruits of the spirit it's the love, it's the joy, it's the peace, it's the kindness, it's the goodness. Here's the word, it is the faithfulness. It's you being gentle, it's you having a level of decorum, it's you having self-control to where you don't respond to everybody else. You don't respond to everybody else's energy. You don't respond, respond to everybody else's attitude and everybody else's disposition. You are not no thermometer. You're a thermostat. You don't reflect, you set. You don't reflect, you respond. You don't react, you respond. In a way that is healthy. Why? Because you have a high level of emotional intelligence. You're not an elevator. You don't allow other people to push your buttons. I need you to hear me. You're not an elevator. You don't allow other people to push your buttons. You move your life to not just the beat of the drum. You find your own rhythm. You find your own cadence. You find the level of where it is that you have a zest and a zeal for life. Why? Because you know. You did the work in the dark to uproot what it is that was causing you to live like a. Somebody who didn't really have a sense of, of life and a sense of well-being and a sense of belonging. Come on, family, just type fruitful. Type fruitful. Will you be faithful enough to uproot what doesn't cause you to bear fruit? I need you to hear me. What are you doing to be faithful enough to uproot what doesn't cause you to bear fruit. But here's what you do. You continue to bear the burdens of everybody else. You continue to bear the burden of bitterness, to bear the burden of what blockades you and blinds you. That which blockades your, bene but your benevolence and your belief Got to get through that. Got to up. Got to uproot 
what doesn't cause you to bear fruit. Family, we're having a super conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. We're talking about part two of check your roots, how to be faithful and fruitful. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. By far. We're having that conversation, that courageous conversation. If you're not a member of In The Mix, what are you doing? Come on, become a member of In The Mix. Let me take you behind the scenes into our members-only area. You owe it to you to be in our members-only area. The content and the coverage and the footage of what it is I'm going to show you is not available anywhere else except in our members-only area that you can unlock. And how do you unlock it? By tapping the link in the description of this video. Link in, the, in our chat. Link is in the chat. Link is in the description of this video. For how and where to become a member of In The Mix. Now, when you click the link, you're going to see three specific levels and areas come up. VIP, Royalty, OQP. Choose one of those and you'll get access to our members only area. Membership has its privileges. Go get it. Up close, co personal conversation, behind the scenes, coverage of me, my lifestyle, this, that, and the other. We're talking about, yeah, part two, check your roots, how to be faithful and fruitful. Here's one thing. A lot of us have gifts of the spirit, but I got to have fruits of the spirit. I got to have fruit that is worthy of the level of the gifting of what it is that I have. Many of us develop our gifts, but we don't develop our character. Your character, your character is needed and necessary for the growth and the development and the sustainability of your gift. Oftentimes, your gift can take you to the lights. Your gift can put you in the lights, but your character can put you in the basement. How many people have you met that were incredibly gifted, but their attitude was poor? They were so arrogant. They were so cocky. They felt as if the world revolved around them. No humility at all, y'all. And that type of person you don't even want to deal with. Type of person you don't even want to be around. Was it for somebody to be incredibly talented, but their attitude is, is, is really in the pits? Hmm? I got to get to a particular place in my life that I don't just develop the gifting, but I develop the character as well that will sustain the level of the gifting. It's one thing to get in the door. It's another thing to stay in the door. It's one thing to get in the building. It's another thing to now have the character to where you run in the building. Come on, family, just type character development. Character develop. Character development. I got to develop in the dark. I can't just develop phototropically. I got to develop gravitropically. Why? Because I'm growing in two directions at the same time. Just like a tree. I got to be like a tree planted by the rivers of, the li of living water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. Stop focusing on everybody else's season. Find out when is your season. Stay, stay lockstep in place and in the area to where you can seize your season, to where you can seize your moment. But see, you so focused on everybody else's season. Now you're hating on who you should be congratulating. You're hating on who you should be learning from. Come on, you ought to celebrate somebody else's season just like it's your season. Oh, I'm happy for them just like it's for me. I'm happy for him just like it's for me. I'm happy for her just like it's for me. That's the type of place, that's the type of attitude that you have to develop and that you have to adopt. Why? Because if God is blessing your neighbor, that means he's in your neighborhood. It's only a matter of time before I get what's mine. I'm going after the dream. I'm going after the idea. I'm going after the, the greatness of who it is that I am and what it is that God has called and, and compelled me to do. True. That's what it is. That's what it's about. Listen, if you're not a member of In The Mix, of course, I want you to become a member of In The Mix. Links in the chat, links in the description of this video. But of course, if you're not a member of our Eagles community, our Eagles family, our Eagles Academy, family, check your roots. Come on. I'm, I'm, I've, I've got you tapped in. I'm showing you how to be faithful and fruitful on an even greater level than what it is that I'm giving you here. 
This is just a teaser. But my academy is the transformer. Here's the teaser. The academy is the transformer. I'm giving you strategy, structure, solutions, and systems to take your vision and your in your vision and your goal and your soul to another dimension. You owe it to you to do that. Go right now to theeaglesacademy.com, theeaglesacademy.com, theeaglesacademy.com. When you get there, tap the join now button, fill out the form, be transformed. Theeaglesacademy.com. That's what it is. Enjoy become a part of our mentorship academy and session. I'm guarantee, I guarantee that you're going to enjoy it. You're going to be empowered by it. You're going to be impacted to increase your ideas, your impact, and your influence. Family, we're having a super ca- super conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. Oh, yes. We're talking about it. How to be faithful and fruitful. Part two of Check Your Roots. Special message in the midst of this special message. Mm-hmm. Breaking news in the midst of this breakthrough. Why don't you stick and stay? More is coming your way after these messages. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you. We've got more men in the mix. I'll be right back. Our schools are underfunded, teachers are underpaid, and our children are undereducated. Our classrooms, culture, curriculum, and communities are in crisis like never before. Education is the key, but the lock is broken. So how do we fix it? I'm so glad that you asked. I'm giving you strategies in my new book. It's my 17th book, by the way, called Strategies for Successful Schools. How to develop a diverse classroom of learners who read, lead, and succeed. This is a book that's available right now. For our educational leaders, it's a must read for school board members, parents, community advocates, transformative teachers. And yes, for those of you who desire to see our children lead and succeed. But not only that, so many of our young people are struggling with their academics, their mental well-being, limiting beliefs, procrastination, interpersonal trauma, and just feeling like they're hopeless. But what if there was a go to guide to empower you to be a champion and our children to be a champion and empower them to overcome challenges? Here's the good news. I've got another book for you. It's my 18th one. Learners are leaders. Strategies and solutions for student success. It's got a 31 day journal in there. It's got affirmations, really a lot of valuable life lessons, ways to set smart goals for success, improve your mental well-being, foster academic success. So much more that is in store when you get not just one, but both of these books. They're both available right now on Amazon. Yeah, go get it right now. But also you can get signed copies. That are available at the eaglesacademy.com forward slash books. Don't just get them for you, but also get them for someone else too. Yes, yes, y'all. Oh, come on. I need you to heed to these resources that you've heard. Let's get back to the word. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking. And we're transforming as we're talking, as we talk about part two of check your roots, how to be faithful and fruitful. I remember the story of the fig tree in scripture and Jesus cursed a fig tree had leaves on it looked like it could bear fruit looked like it had some some fruit on the tree closer that he got to it Jesus began to curse the tree because the tree did not have any fruit despite the leaves that were on it Went over to see if it had any figs. Much to his disappointment. Didn't have any fruit on it. And so what did Jesus do? Jesus cursed it. Jesus cursed it because it had the appearance of fruit, but it was barren. It was it was a mirage. In other words, further inspection showed me that you're in a place of dereliction. Here's, here's what we got to get to a particular place. I don't want to just have the appearance of being successful. I actually want to be successful and not just successful on the outside, but I want to be successful on the inside. I don't want to just look like I got love resided in me, but the close that you get to me, you see there's nothing but hate inside there. Come on. I want to actually be what I look like I am. I want to bear fruit. I don't want to be barren. I don't want to be fruitless. I want to be fruitful. I don't want to be a fruitless tree. I want to be a faithful and a fruitful tree. 
I want to be able to grow in both directions. And I don't want to just look good phototropically, but be broke, busted, and disgusted gravitropically. Come on. I want to develop so much in the dark that I can really shine in the light and actually mean it. That's the particular place that we got to get to. Come on, family, just type it. Faithful and fruitful. Faithful and fruitful. Faithful. I say I'm going to be, be somewhere. I'm going to do it. I say I'm going to do something. I'm going to do it. If I'm faithful, listen, if I say I'm going to come here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there. I'm faithful. When I show up, here it is. I don't have a, a, a humdrum attitude as if I really don't want to do it. And I'm doing you a favor. No. I'm faithful in my actions. I'm faithful in my disposition. I'm faithful even when it seems like everything else is going wrong. I'm going to still have a mindset to where it's going to turn around and go right. I'm faithful. I'm full of faith. And too many of us are fearful. We're full of fear. You're faithless. It's time. It's time. Listen, it's time to get your mind back. It's time to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Why? Because your fruit is connected to your root. Again, what are you planted in? Are you planted in he say, she say? Are you planted that I can't do this? Are you planning it's going to always be that way? Are you planning what your mama didn't do? Are you planning what your daddy said about you? Are you planted in what, what other people did to you? Are you planted in all the mistakes that you've made and the missteps and all the misnomers? What are you planted in? Time to bear fruit. Come on, you've been dealing with stuff that's so unbearable. Time to bear fruit. Told you, I asked you the, the first question, especially on our particular trailer today. Do you need to uproot what you're rooted in? If it's not producing fruit, uproot. <laughs> Come on, family, just type produce. Produce, be of use. Produce, don't reduce. If it's not bearing fruit, uproot. I got, I got to, I got uproot what doesn't bear fruit. I got uproot what doesn't bear fruit. I have to uproot what doesn't produce fruit. I want to speak over your life. I want to speak over your life. I want to speak into your life right now that your barren season is over. Your dry season is over. This is your season to bear fruit. It's your season to take up residence. It's your, your season to take up space. It's your season to bear fruit. What do I mean by that? Story of the bamboo tree. Story of the bamboo tree. And here's one thing I recognize about the bamboo tree. The bamboo tree. Doesn't experience growth for a number of years. Year one, no growth. Year two, there's no growth. That we can see. Year three, there's no growth. Year four, there's no growth. Oh, but year five. And most people don't realize this. That the tree was actually growing all along. Just because we could not see that it grew above ground doesn't mean that it wasn't growing below ground. Here's what was happening. Its roots were running deep. It was growing all along. It's just that the roots were growing underground. Why? Because by year five, this is what happens. In year five, the bamboo tree doesn't just grow with it. it. It exceeds all the other trees. It experiences exponential growth. And I'm sure some of us, as you're watching me, you've been like the bamboo tree. You've been saying to yourself, 
man, everything else is growing on, growing around me, but it doesn't seem like I'm growing. Everybody's getting married, but what about me? Everybody else is getting engaged, but what about me? Everybody else is getting a new car and a new house and opening up businesses and doing this, that, and the other, and X, Y, Z, and one, two, three, and A, B, C. Yeah. Everybody's doing this. Everybody trying to keep up with the Jacksons and the Joneses. Hmm? But what about me? And here's what God was doing all along. You weren't just growing phototropically. You were growing gravitropically. You were growing. You were developing in the dark. You were growing to where your roots were running so deep. Why? Because God's going to take you so high. And hear me. You can't sustain the heights with short roots. You got to have some strength in your roots. You got to have some 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 length in your roots. Your roots got to run deep. Oh, come on now. You need to check your history. You got to check your roots. What are you rooted in? Come on, you stand on the shoulders of giants. You come from those who have who have stood the test of time. You stand on the shoulders of giants. That's why you can see a lot farther and further. You're saying it ancestor. You come from a praying mama. That's part of your roots. You come from a praying grandfather. That's part of your roots. You come from a praying father. Come on now. The prayers of those who have come before you. Your great-great-grandmother, your great-great-grandfather. Those prayers are still being answered by God today. Your life is proof positive. Oh, you better check your roots. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. You better recognize. The bamboo tree was growing all along. Just because you couldn't see it doesn't mean it wasn't growing. Just because they can't see it doesn't mean you're not growing. Just because you can't even see your own growth doesn't mean you're not growing. I need you to hear me. And maybe the bamboo tree felt a little self-conscious. Because I'm sure there were some other trees laughing at the bamboo tree. What's wrong with you? We all up here. You all the way down there. I'm sure the bamboo tree was looking up. What's wrong with me? Maybe I'm really, maybe I really don't have what it takes. Maybe I'm really not a tree at all. But I need you to think about this. The bamboo tree had a seed. And the day that you plant the seed is not the same day that you reap the fruit. But I need you to hear me. That bamboo tree was growing all along. And in the fifth year, five is the number of grace. Five is the number of favor. Y'all remember that show? We talked about it. Five, 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 favor drive. Go back. Check it out. The house is not your... Your house is not a home. Is your house a home series? Go check that out. Right here on my YouTube channel. But here's what I love about it. Once year five hits, that bamboo tree experiences exponential growth to here is what happens. Over the next eight weeks... The bamboo tree grows to as high as 80 feet. What a feat. Come on. It looked like you weren't growing for year one, year two, year three, year four. Oh, you were growing all right. It just wasn't phototropic. It was gravitropic. You were being developed in the dark where nobody could see you, where everybody was laughing at you, where everybody discounted you, where everybody counted you out, but they couldn't count. You were growing all along. Why? Because God had his hand on you all along. Oh, my, 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 my. God had his hand on you all along. You were tree growing in two directions at the same time. It was, incre it was incremental above ground. Oh, but it was transformational below ground. Year five, in the next eight weeks, the tree grows exponential as high as 80 feet. I'm speaking over your life that you're going to be like that bamboo tree. You're getting ready to experience exponential growth. Oh, come on. Five is the number of grace. Eight is the number of new beginnings. I speak grace. I speak favor. I speak newness. I speak new beginnings over your life that the next eight weeks 
you're going to experience such great growth that the last five years won't even be able to compare to it. The next eight weeks, you're going to outgrow the last five years. Do you hear? It's not just going to be incremental. This one's going to be transformational. God's taking you from where it is that you didn't seem like you were growing to where it's going to blow everybody's mind. Hmm? You're going to go from now to wow. The people who counted you out, the people who were looking down on you, are now going to be looking up to you. You're going to surpass everybody that surrounded you. You're going to surpass everybody who counted you out, who left you for dead, who told you what you'd never be, what you'd never overcome, what you'd never become, what you'd never recover from. You're getting ready to do it. Come on, family. Type grow, grow, grow. I'm getting ready to grow. I'm getting ready to grow. There's a grace for growth on my life. Well, there's a grace for growth on your life. Family, I want you to sow into this growth right now. I want you to sow into this growth. I speak over your life. I want you to sow into this growth right now. I want you to sow into your next eight weeks. Come on, hear me. I, I want you to hear me talk to you. I want you to sow into your next eight weeks that God has an exponential growth that's attached to your name. Oh, come on. I'm hearing congratulations over your life. Congratulations on the title deed. Congratulations on the property. Congratulations on the business plan. Congratulations on the proposal. Congratulations on the marriage. Congratulations on the new home. Congratulations on the school. Congratulations on the project that you've adopted. Congratulations on the new business. Congratulations on not the loan, but the grant. Congratulations on the debt being canceled. Congratulations on your body being healed. Congratulations on your marriage being restored. I speak over your life that in the next eight weeks is going to be nothing but head swimming blessings. Nothing but new beginnings that are hitting your home and your head and your heart and your hands and your house. Oh, you ought to say hallelujah to that. I want you to sow where you grow. Yes, even, even right now, I want you to sow. Some of you are sowing an $88 seed. Some of you are sowing $8. Some of you are sowing $28. I want you to sow something with the number eight in it. Yes, yes. I want you to sow something with the number eight in it. Come on, go for what you know and sow. Come on, go for what you know and sow. Sow where you grow. This is where you grow. I want you to sow. Sow where you soar. This is where you soar. I want you to sow. And as you're sowing your seed, I want you to name your seed. Maybe you're naming your seed grace for growth. Maybe you're naming your seed new beginnings. Maybe you're naming your seed favor. Come on. Maybe, maybe you're naming your seed. Maybe you're sowing a $58 seed. Yeah. So sow something with eight. Sow something with five in it. Come on, do it. Maybe you're sowing a $58 seed. Five is the number of grace. Eight is the number of new beginnings. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? There's a grace for growth that is on your life. As you're sowing your seed, I want you to name your seed. Maybe you're naming your seed. Rooted. Maybe your name is your seed faithful. Maybe your name is your seed fruitful. I don't know what your name is your seed, but I want your name your seed. Maybe your name is your seed bamboo tree. Because you're getting ready Woo! to exponentially increase in every specific and single area of your life. Family, links in the chat, links in the description of this video for how to give and where to give. Cash app, dial sign, access identity, PayPal, Zelle. Eddie Connor, JR, Gmail. We've been having a super conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. A super conversation of transformation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. Again, Cash App, Dial Sign Access Identity, PayPal, Zell, Eddie Connor, JR at gmail.com. I want to thank you for sewing. I want to thank you for your super chats. I want to thank you for your online giving as well. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, it's getting ready to happen for you. It's happening for you exp exponentially, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think. And it's going to be big. Come on, family. Type in all caps, big. Type in all caps, big. Big blessings. Big doors. Big opportunities. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. Since you're watching the mix, come on, family, I want you to 
I want you to become a member of In The Mix. Yeah, become a member of In The Mix. I do want you to do that. Links in the chat, links in the description of this video. Tap that link and you'll see three, op three options and three opportunities right there. Which is VIP Royalty OQP. Choose one of those and I'm giving you my give my gift to you is to give you access to our members only area. That you can only get it right here on YouTube. Unlock that. I guarantee it's going to empower you. Eagles Academy. Join my mentorship program. Where I empower you with strategy, structure, solutions, and systems to take your vision to another dimension. Go ahead and do that. Be a part of an amazing circle of greatness with great individuals who are leading and succeeding on new levels. Simply because they're in the right environment. They're in the right soil. They're rooted in the right academy. And now they're experiencing exponential growth. TheEaglesAcademy.com, TheEaglesAcademy.com, TheEaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, tap the Join Now button. Fill out the form. I guarantee you will be transformed. Family, were you empowered by this session today? Come on, let me know now. Was this empowering to you? Was this transformative? Did this encourage you? I sure hope so. Because in the mix is out of time. Mm-mm-hmm. But y'all know I'm not out of truth, so I want to thank you for rocking with me. I want to thank you for riding with me. I really do want to thank you for rolling with me. Yeah. Why? Because that's just how we roll. And we roll together each and every single weekday, Monday through Friday, for In The Mix. Let me mix it up right here on the YouTube side. I need you to hit the thumbs up button, like, comment, share, subscribe. Share this with somebody. You better share this with somebody. Come on now. Don't be selfish. Share this with somebody. Your timeline could be someone's lifeline. We mix it up right here, but also on our sister satellite stations on social media. And so I give you a sincere salute to all of you who are watching. But I also got a question for you. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Well, then step this way. Step that way. Yes, yeah, step this way. Step that way. Which way am I talking about? By friending me and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. We don't stop. At Eddie Connor Jr. That's E-D-D-I-E. -D -D -E. Come on, family. Put some respect on my name. E-D-D-I-E-C-O-N-N-O-R-J-R. Y'all keep showing love. I'm going to keep showing up. Of course, I'm personally inviting you to receive a word from me where I serve as pastor at the Remnant Worshippers Church in the city of Detroit each and every single Sunday, 10 o'clock a.m. Every su Sunday, 10 a.m. <clears throat> and then on Tuesdays, 6 o'clock p.m. Let me take a sip so I don't slip. 6 o'clock p.m. Yeah, for we have, this is where we have uh, prayer. 6 o'clock p.m. And then, of course, hey, we have Bible study as well. It's going to be absolutely amazing for our Bible studies. TNT Tuesdays is nothing but fire. It's amazing. So once you join us, 10 a.m. on Sundays, 6 p.m. on Tuesday, 7 p.m. for Bible study. And, of course, I'm the pastor there, and I love to empower you for a word. 20470 Hubble Street in the city of Detroit. I am saving you a seat. If I can help you, if I can serve you in any way. Don't hesitate. Please reach out to me. Get any of my books. I got 18 of them out there on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, iTunes, Audible, TheEaglesAcademy.com forward slash books to get signed copies. If you're looking for a dynamic speaker. No. Why would you look any further? Come on. You know, I'm the man for the job. So invite me to speak at your church, your conference, your community center, your school, your graduation, your session. Let's make some progression. Email me to invite me info at EddieConnor.com. And it would be an honor for me to empower you i can't help but to say as well come on get some of our merch get some of our merch church merch church merch <laughs> yes trwchurch.org yeah, it's got trw logo on there and then on the back it says faith family forward that's our model that's our our mindset of what it is that we have at our church it's yours truly dr eddie your main man 100 grand yo brother and i mean that from another mother family it's been fun but you know brother gotta run so I want you to know it's been a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy. Yes, it has been beyond measure. But I want you, yes, you now. I'm talking to you to remember to keep the faith. Mm-hmm. And believe it's going to be bigger, better, brighter, peace, and a whole lot of love. Keep soaring higher. Family, there is power in partnership, and we are better together, which is why I am on a mandated mission 
to activate 30. Yes, 30 new action takers who are ready to soar beyond their limits. I'm ready to develop and deploy you into your gifts and your greatness. Now, are you ready? Well, get activated by joining the Eagles Academy, where we cultivate your gifts and your talents to become the greatest version of yourself. And we do this through weekly mastermind sessions where you receive strategies for exponential growth with self-paced Eagles Nest reflections that include personalized feedback to transform you, to renew your mindset, to empower you to take action and actualize your purpose. Are you an action taker? If so, today I ask you, are you ready to answer the call? Well, great. Then visit theeaglesacademy.com and become a member. For only $24.99, you will unlock unlimited knowledge and resources that will launch you and catapult you into the greatest version of yourself. I invite you to the winner's circle. On your mark, get set, go right now to theeaglesacademy.com and seize this moment. <laughs>